Stealing your neighbor's Wi-Fi is something that's been going on for years. Now, a study shows 32% of people now do it. We sent Beth Vaughn out to find out how many people in Kansas City are protecting their online access. It's called war driving, a technique used by computer hackers that's as easy as this. Driving through a neighborhood, seeking out unencrypted internet networks. If it's unencrypted, it's transmitted in plain text, which means uh, not only can people steal your internet, but they can see what you're doing if they... They have the right tools. According to USA Today, 32% of people surveyed admit to borrowing a neighbor's unencrypted Wi-Fi connection. That's nearly double the 18% from a 2008 poll. I know I've heard of that happening before, like one person getting the internet connection and then like other people in the building just using it. Hunter Kanak, general manager of Kanak Properties, knows the dangers of letting others in. I've got... Our Quicken files on there, which has all of our books, that has our property management files, you know, all of our records. So that'd be bad. Though not everyone we asked Hack me. has caught the wave of concern. I assume that anything I put on my computer is visible to all. I don't have anything on there to really worth, you know, taking. I, mean, I guess, you know, they could probably get into our accounts. I don't know how hard it would be. I mean, I'm not that internet savvy but not hard for someone who knows how and computer experts are warning to lock down your internet network just like you would a front door uh, here's a live look right now as Beth Vaughn scouts out Kansas City neighborhoods looking for homes with unprotected Wi-Fi. She found one-third of the homes in the South Moreland neighborhood were unsecure. Could someone be stealing it from your home, or are you stealing Internet from a neighbor? What else Beth found in Kansas City neighborhoods coming up tonight on NBC Action News at 6.